Welcome to the Allstate Bontrager Insurance Agency pregame show. Standing here on Thanksgiving, what a special Thanksgiving it is, Coach. Uh, first, we're practicing, which means we're in the state game, but we had a lot of alumni come out today for our practice and preparation for Penn on Saturday. Yeah, this is the first time we've been able to do this. It's our third uh, trip to the state championship game, but the first time uh, we've uh, tried to plan a function. Uh, one of my assistants, our O-line coach, Andy Moore, who's a former player and a coach now, uh, give me the idea and then he put it out on social media and I can't believe how many guys came out from from the past all the way I think from 61 from 61 to, to you know from last year so what a great turnout I'm so proud to be out here on the field and uh, be representing these guys for the state championship Saturday night really neat for the current team to see all these guys you mentioned uh, we had them from 61 all the way to last year's team need to have everybody come up and introduce themselves we have a few standing behind us uh, a lot of different generations of of, of, of teams that, that came out here to show support uh, as you go into Saturday what are you looking for what are you looking to see to start the game out well there's about 15 of these guys that introduce themselves I wish I could play Saturday night because <laughs> they look like they're ready to play football I you know it's just going to be a, a it, it, you know like it's been all year we take one game at a time our opponent has no face it's about center grove us doing what we do you know not beating ourselves and uh, even though we've tried to do that a couple of times we're, we're going to try not to do it Saturday night and just work on our blocking and tackling like it always is and you know do the little simple things there's nothing they're going to do that's going to be trickier miscommunicatable just play football and, and get hard and get after it, man I know when the 6A started, we, we talked a lot about the bye week, and we were all kind of at that time saying, man, we wish the bye week took place before the first sectional game. But as it turns out, we got pretty lucky. Uh, having the bye week after the Avon game gave our guys a lot of opportunity to get healthy, and uh, we're pretty fresh going into Saturday. Yeah, this has been unbelievable. I'm the guy that voted against the bye before the state championship, by the way. So everybody's been texting me and uh, telling me, ha, ha, ha. But I'm, I'm glad that uh, I had about – 48 other guys smarter than me that voted for the bye. Um, it is the perfect time for it if you're playing for the state championship. If you lose early in the tournament, you'll probably say, well, if we had a bye at the end of the year, I might have got people healthy. But with us, we were able to get through the tournament to this point. We've had two weeks now to get ready for this game. Uh, and, yeah, we got about five kids that really didn't participate in the last game that might be able to get, give us some help in this game. And they're all, you know, most of them are seniors, and uh, it's just a great situation for everybody. It's a win-win for everybody, and hopefully we can uh, stay with it and make it a positive thing for Saturday night. We're going to have a lot of people coming out to the uh, Lucas Oil Stadium. For everybody out there, we have a pregame tailgate party there right off of McCarty Street at Gate 10. If you haven't had any information, please go to Gate 10, and you can still get parking, and uh, getting into the facility is free. The buses leave at 4.15, so we're going to be uh, piled out there on West Street waiting for you guys to come into the tunnel. Uh, couldn't be more excited, couldn't be more proud. We wish you all the luck. Happy Thanksgiving, and uh, let's go get a victory on Saturday. Well, we're going to load up and get on the bus and make the trip, and uh, hopefully we can do the things we've done all year, just play good, hard Trojan football. I, again, I'd like this to you know, make a statement about all these guys and the generations of football we got out here. Uh, I don't know if you want to introduce them or not. Maybe cool. You want to run down through there? Won't sure, you absolutely. Introduce everybody. Can you, can you, can you pan? Can you pan? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let uh, everybody introduce their names. Uh, that'll be easier for me. How about that? Even though I know you, Mike. <laughs> Mike Duke, uh, class of 82, and I've got my son here. Jake Duke, class of 2007. And my dad. I'm uh, Norman Duke, class of 1961. Three this is the first uh, three-generation family, I think, and I was on the first uh, center girl winning football team in 61. Fantastic. Oh, Lenny. I'm Lanny Duke, I'm Norm's brother. I graduated in 66, and, and we had a pretty good season, too. <laughs> Dan Gandalf, class of 93. And you just got done doing the uh, Tour de France? or No, I just got done doing a, a turkey run, turkey burn run. <laughs> Jason Mueller, class of 94. Most of you will remember this guy right here. Dylan Dallas, class of 2014. I'm John Dever, class of 2014. Uh, Demetri Wilson, class of 14. Andy Weesey, class of 86. And this is just an assortment. We have probably well in excess of 100 folks that came throughout the uh, practice. Really neat for the team to experience uh, the tradition, the excitement. These guys are ready for you guys to get a blue ring, and uh, we got a lot to show out there. Well, I, I plan to do a turkey dash today, but it's not running for physical fitness. I'm going to dash to hopefully eat some turkey. Uh, Again, real proud to represent Center Grove. I hope everybody can come out and cheer us on uh, Saturday night. Uh, it's going to be a great football game with a bunch of great two, – two teams of great kids. Hashtag one more game, go Trojans.